What is going on guys? This is Doc R. Today we're playing Knights and Dragons. One thing we're going to be going over here is the Cold Chien Raid. Oh, well there's no guys. Well here, let's change that. Alright, bam, look at that. Level 2s, level 3s, level 4s. We're not going to be hitting anything too crazy this time. I don't particularly have the armors. I did just get that brand new Shadow Forge that we did get from the last raid. Hopefully you guys did pretty well on that. That was our top 15 that I ended up going top 10. So that was pretty awesome that we did get that Shadow Forge. And let's just jump right on into it. Alrighty guys, and there are some things that I do want to go over while we go and watch a, watch me do this raid. I did go ahead and record this one beforehand, so we're going to have some over commentary for this one. First things first, I might be adding music on this, I'm not really sure. Hopefully you guys can hear me just fine if I do add music. Um, but yeah, first things first, I just want to thank all of you guys, all the likes, all the comments, all the subscribers that I've gotten so far. I believe we're sitting, sitting almost to 60 subscribers, so that's freaking awesome. I never thought that we'd even get, you know, 10 or 15, so I definitely want to say thanks to all that. And all the likes that we've been getting on the videos and comments and stuff like that. My community has definitely grown since the beginning of this channel and I appreciate that. Been talking to a couple people on Kick and a couple people online, so that's freaking awesome. I, I, let's see how many likes we can get on this video, guys. Everybody that's watching this video right now, two minutes into it, make sure and leave a like down in the comment below if you guys are enjoying me or if you guys are enjoying any of these videos. Next topic that I do want to talk about is any suggestions that you guys do have for the channel. I did get one suggestion the other day and I'm not really quite sure if I would prefer playing that game. I did download it. Uh, Caesar1234 I believe suggested it. Shout out to you man. Shout out to you Caesar. I did play that game for a little while. Kind of tried it out and see if I liked it. I didn't quite particularly like that video. That's why you guys didn't see any or not that video, that game. That's why you guys didn't see any videos out on the channel. Uh, but I did try it. I did uh, did try it for a little while. Played it for you know half the day and, and just kind of got bored of it. So that's why we didn't get any videos there. But if you guys do have any suggestions for any games you guys want me to see or anything you want me to do different for the videos or anything like that, please make sure and leave them down in the comments below, guys. I am more than happy of taking constructive criticism and applying that to my channel. Uh, if you guys can see it, I've only really been doing videos for about a month, month and a half or so. So I haven't been doing this for years, so I do not know everything. And we're definitely growing this community, so let me know down in the comments below of any suggestions you guys have for this channel. Another thing that I want to talk about is a plan that we have for Knights and Dragons. Uh, as you guys know, this thing isn't, you know, there's not something new all the time. There is different raids and different wars, and I will be sharing my recaps on that. How I did, how my friends did, how my family did, maybe how you guys did. Just like uh, Back in Black, if you guys have anything that you guys want me to share on the channel or any shout outs like that, please definitely get a hold of me. But on my behalf of what I want to do for this Knights and Dragons, there are a lot of people that play this game and I don't feel that there are a lot of tutorials out there. So one thing that I do want to do is a couple different tutorials. I do have a couple ideas. I do want to go over some wars. So I want to teach everybody you know, how to war what a strip war is, maybe talk a little bit about the line app and how that can improve your Knights and Dragons experience. I know back when, when I first started playing, well John and I, when John and I first started playing, we didn't have no line app. We didn't have no strip wars or anything like that either. Another thing I do want to talk about is Heroic and the three different stages of Heroic, how they have the beginner, intermediate, and also the last four kind of want to go over some tutorials and what you should do in the very beginning of the game say you just started out not too long ago and you're jumping into heroic it's kind of a scary thing to be honest with you so kind of what you want to do as a beginning player maybe what you want to do after you've gotten one or two shadow forges or maybe you're able you know you're beating that beginning stage and kind of what's next and also the third stage of beating those final bosses and stuff now, I know I personally can't really beat them on my own. Uh, I am willing to spend a little bit of gems and stuff like that to make that video for you guys, especially if it helps. And the other thing that I do want to talk about is gems, speaking of. 
Um, a lot of people see that I've been saving up quite a bit of gems. We're saving up in August. There should be some sweet armors that's going to be released in August. Hoping to have a couple thousand by then. But real quick, let me go ahead and put this picture up. Shout out to you, Blando, for supplying this data mine right here. There's a lot of good armors that's going to be posted out in August. A lot of spirit armors, and I don't have quite the best, so we will be doing quite a bit of pushes there. Not sure if when we're going to be doing our push, or what the mins are, or if I can share that, but that's what that is. And you guys can see that I do have a lot of gems saved up. I'm almost at 13, 1400, and it's very, very simple and very, very easy to do. And I think a video out to you guys to show how to get that would be a lot of help. Another thing that I did want to talk about is guilds and kind of what you can do to perform best within your guild and maybe what guild you should be looking for and those kind of things. So I know that we have usually a full 40 roster and we have a lot of people that are coming over to our guild and stuff like that. But if you guys have any guilds like that, um, you need more people or maybe there's feeder guilds for beginners and kind of higher guilds for others and stuff like that, uh, that would be great. And I do want to make a video for that one. I do want to know if there's anything else that you guys want me to work on. I can definitely add to that list. But those are the different videos that I'm planning on putting out. They're different tutorials and stuff like that. Hopefully you guys can take those and share those ones with your guilds and help any any new players that end up, you know, joining your guild. They're going to ask you, you know, what's a strip? What armor do I use? You know, maybe some people don't use about max wars. A lot of people not sure about the heroic stages and those kind of things. I know there's a couple different videos, but I want to release just fresh videos if that's all that it's going to have. So let me know down in the comments below if you guys have any video suggestions for me. I will make sure and add that to my list. And let's just go ahead and listen to the music and watch the rest of this. And I'll see you back in about a minute. Alrighty guys and we are back one thing I did want to talk about and unfortunately I didn't get in this video was the fact of my rewards I didn't get to get a picture no screenshot or anything like that I, I don't know why I didn't do it for the Twitter hashtag at Twitter but unfortunately I didn't get that one done so that was kind of a bummer but I did end up in about the 15 million mark I didn't quite get that silver coin at the very end but I did get both the ring and the amulet a good question that has kind of brought been brought up to me and that I spoke with a couple of my guild mates is why why do they make it so easy to get the ring and the amulets when you know when you're pushing in wars and those kind of things ring and amulets are, are pretty far down the line I mean you really have to be going for those for these raids obviously we weren't doing a top push or anything like that you'll find out shortly kind of where we ended but you know why are those rings and amulets so easy to get it's just kind of a crazy thing and something that was just brought up to me alrighty guys and so this is kind of where we ended right here we ended 38th my current rank with 2668 I felt like we did pretty good we did have some heavy hitters and some shout outs to these guys right here shout out to you Donnie devoted dark link Abel, and Ralph Ralph 1 and 2 Man, Donnie, 57, you're just a beast, bro. I definitely want to appreciate him being in the guild, and he's definitely taught me quite a bit. So definitely shout out to you, Donnie. And I know you're getting shout outs before, but there's a lot of things that I learned within this game. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be there. So these are our rewards here that we got. 
nothing too crazy we ended in top 50 so kind of keep that one in mind one thing that I do want to do is a quick shout out to this guy Christian uh, he's definitely a, a friend of the guild and a family to the Alliance and all those kind of things check this guy out here they he's in Angel Rock they ended 17th and this guy got over 800 million freaking points guys 800 million that's freaking insane Christian shout out to you number two in global on Android man that's freaking awesome congratulations to you again man hopefully you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like down below comments of any suggestions you guys have for the channel or for Knights and Dragons and don't forget to subscribe before you go this is Doc R signing out thanks YouTube